Hey everybody, I have a big update on the country's worst anti-gun bill, actually the worst anti-gun bill I've ever seen in my life, my career, ever. Uh, and that's the bill in Massachusetts. A lot of people are like, hey Jared, have you gonna talk about this bill? I actually already did last month when it was submitted, I'll pin that above. Uh, but there was yesterday this bill hit uh, a potential roadblock that might be a death toll for the bill. Might not be, but it's got some problems. Before I jump in, I wanna thank the sponsor of the video, that's us at Blackout Coffee. Uh, always strong, guys, always strong. It's a strong coffee, it's never bitter. Check us out, blackoutcoffee.com slash G&G. I'm down here for my second week, you know, doing boss man type things, trying to secure our, our future, but right now it smells great. We're flavoring the Climax roast right now, and man, I don't, the, it's flavor town right now, like I'm salivating. Check us out, blackoutcoffee.com slash G&G. We're the best coffee in the country. If you don't believe me, just try us. I'll save you 10% on your order. Blackoutcoffee.com slash GNG and use code GNG10. All right, so this anti-gun bill in Massachusetts is the worst I've ever seen. Like I said, it's 140 pages of anti-gun BS, bans everything. Uh, also does retroactive bans, uh, serialization of and registration of magazines, um, bans 3D printing, can't build your own. I, I've talked about the bill. It's terrible. However, yesterday... <laughs> legislatively, it hit a roadblock because of procedure. Yeah, there's rules that you have to follow. So uh, representative, State Representative Day is the one who uh, submitted this bill on June 26th. And he sent it immediately, it was fast-tracked. It was immediately sent to the Judiciary Committee in the House, which he co-chairs, <laughs> kind of like he had the in right there, right? And they immediately uh, passed it over to the Senate. However, that's where the problem is. Um, in Massachusetts, especially now because this is a late filed bill, which means that it's submitted during a break, they're not actually in session, uh, there is a procedure where both the House and the Senate have to agree to send a late filed bill into a joint committee. Well, that hasn't happened. Weeks have gone by and it's just crickets on this bill. Now, while Democrats in both the Massachusetts House and the Senate have said, we agree that gun control is a priority. We wanna pass more rules on those who aren't breaking the law so that we could magically hope that it will affect those who do break the law. And this bill has a problem. So in Massachusetts, typically, historically, uh, anti-gun bills are submitted to the Public Safety Committee. And that's what the Senate said yesterday. They said, typically, these bills belong in the Public Safety Committee, not the Judiciary Committee. And because of that, the Senate voted to send that bill back to the House to step one, and they want it assigned to the Public Safety Committee. Now, Chairman Day is upset, as you can imagine. He's trying to fast track this to be the best gun controller in the land, make a name for himself, obviously. Um, and this, he's run into a, a serious problem here. And uh, now, Bruin, there's a little thing, it's called the New York State Rifle and Pistol Association versus Bruin. And this law, 140 pages of it, violates it every single way you can imagine. It, it gives Bruin uppercuts, jabs, uh, haymakers, uh, hits below the belt, all kinds of things. Now, part of me thinks that this this uh, problem that was created for this bill, you know, procedurally, is because it violates Bruin. And I am, I, you guys know me, I don't pull my opinions, no matter who's watching. If this bill gets to the governor's desk, Mara Healy will sign it. The groups like Goal and, and anybody else, Second Amendment Foundation, Firearms Policy Coalition, GOA, anybody, they better sue because uh, this makes the New York uh, CCIA, the Concealed Carry Improvement Act, look like a friggin' joke. This makes California's gun control look like a preschool eroded. Uh, this demands action. So with that said, I will do everything I can do to sue Massachusetts off the planet when it comes to this. I will help in any way I can. Uh, but both chambers aren't agreeing on, uh, on anything right now. Now the House, has an opportunity as soon as Thursday to vote on accepting the Senate's uh, kickback and sending it to the Public Safety Committee in the House, thus back to step one, which they're trying to fast track this, 
or B, insist that it goes back to the Judiciary Committee in the Senate, which will cause some, some problems for them. Um, what else can I tell you? Now, um, oh, also, Chairman Day has reserved the largest uh, hearing room in the State House for July 13th and July 14th. And some of us are looking because usually uh, reps do that stuff when they're going to have a committee. But so far, no Judiciary Committee hearings have been uh, been scheduled. And like I said, the Senate says this should be in the Public Safety Committee, not your committee, because uh, Day chairs that committee that he's trying to send it to so he can, you know, just white label it, get it through. So we have an issue. We have a time constraint upon the nation's worst gun control bill. Will it pass? I don't, I can't tell you guys and gals, uh, because Massachusetts, they have the votes to pass it. There's no way that it could be stopped unless they absolutely eviscerate it with amendments. But even with that, as Massachusetts anti-gun history shows, something's still going to pass. It's one of those, we, you know, we had to do something. We made it less, we made it less bad. That's like always been a Massachusetts thing, uh, which I don't agree with, obviously. If you've been on this channel longer than a day, you will understand that. So I will keep you in the know. I have a friend of mine who's checking with his hookup on uh, Beacon Hill, which is what the capital of the state house is on in Massachusetts. And I will let you know as soon as there's something to know. This is something I obviously want to stay on top of for many reasons. Not only is it the, the single biggest attempt at gun control to control everything, to delete everything, to ban everything, um, even to go back on things that when they said, you know what, nobody's taking these, we'll let you keep these guns, they're grandfathered, or you can have pre-banned magazines, that's fine. This says, you know what, we want it all or else. And not only should Massachusetts never allow this, but they should pay dearly. And I'm here to see that happen and I'm here for the fireworks. Guys and gals, let me know what you think down below. Check my other video out if you haven't seen it. Uh, this is Guns and Gadgets, where I have all the Second Amendment news every single day, good, bad, ugly, or indifferent, no matter where it happens in the country, from legislation to litigation, and I have a lot of connections on the inside to get you stuff before people uh, know what's going on. So if you want to stay in the know, subscribe to the channel down below. Help me get to 650,000 subscribers before my birthday, July 25th. I got to go into the air conditioning. It's literally, I mean, it's 9 a.m. right now as I'm recording this, and it's about 95,000 degrees out. I appreciate y'all. I'll see you on the next one. Check out blackoutcoffee.com slash GNG. Use code GNG10 to save 10% on your order. Have a good one.